not a game, it's a rich thing. Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back, this is Alvaro. So guys, today we're actually uh, came to a shop. Let me show you guys and see if you can guess what we're doing today, guys. So today we're here at Kinetic Motorsports, guys, and we're about to do a dyno baseline session on the truck. Before we start, you know, installing the parts under the hood to see the difference, actually. So this way, we'll get an idea of where it's at now, and then to see the difference once we get a, you know, a couple parts installed, and that way um, we can actually really see and compare the numbers, you know, horsepower, torque, uh, and then you know see how the actual items have helped the, the actual truck. <laughs> so you look better on video. <laughs> so guys, let's let's go ahead and talk to the guys and just see exactly kind of what we're gonna do today and get a little bit more of the numbers we're gonna be looking at. So let's see they're, they're prepping it right now, actually strapping it down, make sure it doesn't go anywhere while they do the actual session. Uh, who, who can I talk to just to, to kind of get a little bit? Who can I talk to just to kind of get a little bit of yeah. what we're gonna do here? So, okay, guys, this is Josh. How you doing? And we're just trying to get an idea of we're doing a baseline dyno session, right? Right. And what exactly are the numbers we're gonna be looking at? I mean, um, on the 19 F150, I'm not actually sure. Uh, we haven't had one of these on here yet, so this will be a first. 
Okay, okay. Looking but we're looking at horsepower, right? Yeah, torque. so we're looking at to the rear end, horsepower and torque. Horsepower and torque. Okay, nice, that's nice. All right. And we'll, I guess we'll get a number of kind of baseline before we do any any actual modifications to it then. Correct. All right, nice. So Thank it's you, all Jeff. strapped down now. We'll get the fans on it and okay. uh, get the logger out here and see what she does. All right, sounds good. All right. So what are, I, what are the numbers, what will it be actually pulling out as well, in addition to the torque and, and the horsepower, what other, does it look at other items? Yeah, he's going to look at what the baseline, like timing and all okay, that Okay, nice, 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 okay. Um, and then that'll kind of give us a window once you start doing the modifications of how aggressive we can get with the tune. So. Okay, okay, yeah. nice, nice. It's a good baseline though, so. Okay, yeah. Really okay. Kind of see where the starting point is. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, nice. Cool. What was that? Your speed limit is set to 100 miles an hour. It is? Yeah. Really? It shut me down at 100. What? So I'm gonna have to pull it in a lower gear just to get a, a bigger speed. Wow. A bigger so is that is that set from the factory? Yeah. At 100? Um, it's also going extremely rich as the pull continues. Huh. Um, it's commanding. So, I mean, the tune's on point, but uh -huh. uh, this would benefit greatly from a uh, custom tune. Really? Yeah, okay. It's, it's extremely soft. Uh, the wide open throttle part of the pole, it's basically flat time. I mean, there's, huh. there's no advance. So it flat lines at 100? Right, yeah. I got to 100 miles an hour and it, it dropped off. Wow. So I'll have to pull it. I pulled that one in sixth, uh -huh. so I'll have to pull it in like fifth. It does definitely skew the reading a little bit. Cause uh huh. Because of the gear and exactly yeah. The so so once I get once I get a, a, an actual tune on it, we can adjust that to take it off. Raise it up out of the ah, way. okay, okay, nice. Wow. Yeah, let me huh. calibrate for a different gear. Okay. So guys, if you didn't get that, saying that the factory has it at 100 miles per hour for it to flatline. That was the first pull? Uh, Three, first four. pull to, to RPM, so we made it out to 6,000 RPM that time. 6,000 RPM. Pulling it in fifth gear instead of sixth. Um, mm -hmm. Seventh is one to one, so that's ideally where you pull it, but. So, so this first one was max horsepower 314 at the? 314 and torque 391. 391, okay, huh. Okay, see where it's, it's about the same. And you said that was on, on uh, fifth gear? That one was fifth gear. Fifth gear.
You hear him? You hear him, right? Yeah. It did? Yeah, probably just heating up. Yeah. Uh, our fan's not getting <laughs> it's not giving it enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it dropped down to 307. Okay, 306. 307 horsepower. And what's the, oh, three, 376 on the torque? Okay. Yeah. All right. If you pulled it in the correct gear, uh -huh. seven, it would be uh, higher on torque and horsepower. Um, not a huge amount. Yeah, but you would see the difference. You don't mind if I take a picture of that, do you? I can uh, see white, that white line is your ignition advance and that green line is the throttle. So that's when you start the pull and the timing drops down to three degrees after top dead center. Then about 5,000 RPM, it starts sloping timing back in. But at that point, the temperature is high enough to where oh, it's I see. to knock a little bit. Oh, okay. So it's, it starts, the, the actual temperature starts kind of kicking in and doesn't allow it right. to perform. Right. There's definite like load limiting and torque limiting things going on here. So uh -huh. it's closing down the throttle. Yeah. I'm not doing that. The ECU is oh. doing that. So uh, a proper tune will take care of all of that. Really? Oh, just limiting. all of it? Okay. Yeah, like transmission, torque, truncation, and all that stuff. Huh. To, okay. To okay. Um, cool. Especially if you plan on modifying it or upgrading. Yeah, I am. I am. Okay. Yeah, like well, procedure. like I, I'm, I'm thinking uh, exhaust, intake, yeah. and then a tune. Kind of, kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Any items, other items that you might, you kind of recommend Anything that it would help? Add for cooling on a boosted car. Really? Some okay. Bigger intercooler. Ah, okay. So. Piping, stuff like that. Ah, Especially see. in this weather. I mean, yeah. Exactly. Like yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you, you recommend like an intercooler, bigger pipe right, would so make a big difference too. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the inlet air temperature just in the intake is over 115 degrees. Oh, so the see. intercoolers happen to do a lot of work to bring Yeah. Up, and you're kind of limited to that number. It's yeah. It's never going to go below 110 degrees. That's, that's right. And that's, yeah, process. exactly. Yeah. Um, the cooler you can keep a turbocharged or boosted car in general, the, the better it's going to be. Okay, so okay. Any mods that you make in that department. Don't worry about the engine cooling, uh -huh. so the radiator. And yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. worry about that, but the, the intercooler and we'll make the intercooler a, piping. Okay, like the that. piping yeah. intercooler. Okay, that's good to know. I can start kind of looking at some of those as well. Yeah. Cool. Good. So guys, it seems like it is hitting at about 300 on average for horsepower and torque. So, um, you know, got a couple suggestions from him on what can actually help. So we'll go ahead and start looking into those mods as well, guys. You can add it to account, I guess. You can't even ring it. No, you can't. Hand. That's right, you can't You can't even take it up and see exactly what it can actually do, you know? Because it has that governor on there for yeah. 100. So, what can you do? Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> but he's saying though, a custom tune would help it out. So, oh, yeah. you know. Then you can bring it up to whatever RPM you want. Yeah, yeah. Have your uh, email address. Yeah. Oh, okay. You can send me that. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, so they, they, the factory puts a governor on there to cap you, to cap you at 100 max. Yeah. And so it flatlines. It, it, it can't even go any higher than that. Yeah. So a custom tool would adjust all that to make sure that you can actually hit hit the throttle and it will go, you know, at what you want it to. So we're gonna have to start looking at that as well. So they're, they're taking all the straps down, guys. Getting it back, giving it back to us.
you guys take off the ABS lines in the back mm -hmm. for the dyno so they can kind of keep, so it won't stop it or what? what yeah, is? so it doesn't try to pulse the brakes. Oh, I see. So it doesn't try to. the fronts aren't spinning and ah, only the rear, so I the see. computer's going to start tripping out. Oh, so it'll I see. start pulsing the rear brakes, ABS, oh, okay. and start coming on. Uh, so you guys just kind of pull, unplug them and mm -hmm. then plug them back in after the whole yep. deal? and so he, that's why he makes the lap real quick. Oh, to, to check, make sure. reset the ABS Ah, nozzle. I see, I see. Uh, nice, nice. Okay. Rather than get in and yeah. it's not functioning right. So. Okay, nice. Well, what are the other services you guys make here? So that way I can kind of put this in there, you know, that you guys oh, offer for, uh, here at Kinetic, man. Everything? Built motors. Uh, okay. Nitrous, superchargers, turbos, all custom kits. Okay, um, nice. Built uh, transmissions, rear ends, roll cages. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, well, I'll provide, I'll provide the uh, the contact info yeah. on the channel and, and on the video. So, you you know, see, hopefully, if anything, somebody uh, reaches out, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks this this is I mean, it was nice to get a baseline you yeah. know get an idea of where it's at yeah. and see what the hell's going on with it at, at yeah, this point not bad for a big body like that to still make over 300 so. yeah I, I, you know honestly i really thought that it was going to be less than that yeah with the heat yeah. you know and I it's figured it'd be upper twos uh, that's what i thought it would be somewhere in the, in yeah. the 200 so i'm really actually impressed that it's up in the 300s so that's kind of nice okay. yeah. you don't mind if i just kind of record a little bit no of, no you're good cool. One up top, That's a nice car. Really? Uh, <laughs> swapping an auto into it, a built 6R80 into a 14 500 Wow, wow. Yeah, That's got, nice. Got a bunch of stuff done. Yeah? Uh, just waiting on the torque converter to get back from Circle D and then put it back together. Cool. Wow. Yeah, it's a 67 with a new edge 544 valve motor in it underneath. This right here? Yeah, so oh. 67. 67? Nice. Now, that, that's a clean car. It's got a 5.4 four-valve, the, uh, the uh, Concord Ford motor. Wow. So it's got the 1.9 lights on blower on it. Jesus. Uh, Same owner as the red one? or? No, different owners. Okay. Nice. Wow. And then, yeah, the motor's out of this 350. We're building the motor on that one. So Rebuilding this one here? Full custom turbo kit. Nice. Uh, the red 370 Nismo uh, just made right over 700. Uh, yeah, built motor, seven. automatic, twin turbo. Wow. Uh, Sweet. Yeah. And then got a couple under tarps, but they're really fast. That's the shop car underneath the tarp right here. This one here? And that one already made over 1,600 really? tires. Wow. Uh, did 195 and a half mile. Wow. Where do y'all take them out to get it? Uh Give it a little um, test. On those, we do Texas Mile, which is twice okay. a year. So we run that event. Uh, this is another Texas Mile car. Uh, he's okay. been consistent 220s, daily driver. Really? Yeah. AC, power steering, everything, full interior. Uh, and then it's got a 10 point cage that we that we take yeah. in. So it's got a cage and that runs through, and then it's got removable door bars and oh, back bars shit. so you can still put people in the back seat. Wow. And then yeah. Uh, this one's fully rewired. Did you actually put that cage in there? Correct. Wow. And notch and TIG everything in house. Really? Uh, this one's got a full Motec um, wiring system in it that we built here. Uh, we wow. molded a full 12 inch full HD display. That's the Motec C1212. This one uh, here? Uh, or no, I can't fire the car. I'm gonna the gasket, oh, really? Key it forward so you can see. Oh, the nice. Dash. Look at that. Wow, that's clean. Man. But yeah, it gives us all of our vitals oh, wow. on there, RPM. Yeah, they installed it. So that's a full custom dash we made for it. Wow. And then there's a CAN keypad over there. Yeah. And that controls all the electronics on the car. Oh, really? So he can actually adjust all so, the electronics. Yeah, windows up, boost control on there, trash control, AC controls are on there, nitrous purge, all that. Uh, Wow. The way that uh, Mitch wired it all in is uh -huh. the factory key still functions and turns power to the entire system. Wow. Um, I don't have to do anything over there. I can just turn the key off and then it kills all power to the to Every, the Everything else. Yeah. yeah. So nice. So powered everything. Uh, this one made, I think it was 1150 and then the, uh, the head casket wasn't very happy. <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah, so it's got a four or five whipple. Ooh. You can see where that gasket went and blew the cap and so. Wow. But yeah, full MoTeC rewire so you can see all the the new electronics, you know, all labeled injectors and coils on the side. And we make all the brackets all and 
the entire Motex made here. Awesome. Yeah, we buy all the hardware and build our own harnesses. Wow. A uh, big breather catch can so we can get the uh, whole PCV system on its own huge, system. That's huge, man. Uh, Dash 16 lines. I just put a little catch can. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> Yeah, and then we separate oh, it from the engine so it's no longer hooked into the intake and it's no longer hooked into the uh, elbow of the supercharger. It actually just vents direct crankcase pressure directly into this little vent can. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. And you can see all the computer and everything's gone now. Yeah. It's all mounted under the dash. Huh. And the new fuse box is about that big. It's a PDM30 really? from Motec. But uh, this is our new engine harness, body control harness for the entire front end of the car. is all wired through this harness right here. Wow. All handmade harness. Man. That's a nice looking engine, man. I'm sure it sounds nice too. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got uh, We always make the joke on the cams from here is L&M up in Pennsylvania does all of our, we buy all the cams from them. Uh -huh. um, just high RPM cams for the Texas Mile. And uh, we always make fun. It's like, did you even grind these? Cause I mean, they're just a circle. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> wow. Nice man. Well, I appreciate you uh, man, showing us around. I'm working with you too. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. This Whenever you're ready, give us a holler. I will, cause this is this is nice, dude. You guys are doing some real nice work out here. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we do full NHRA certified roll cages. Uh, all of our cages are certified. Um, okay. Uh, that one's certified to six second uh, quarter. Uh, we did a full sheet metal floor. Wow. Um, and then yeah, 25 two full certified cage. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wow, yeah. man. That, that, it's, that, that looks like a lot of fun, honestly. Yeah, it's fun. We're building the motor on that one, that one, that one, that one. Wow. Rebuilding the motor on that one. Just built the motor on that one. Building the motor on this one. Built the motor in that one. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> uh, the uh, G over here on the lift, we pulled the trans. Um, we added a supercharger to it. it. Made just over 600 tires on the on the G. And wow. The, the uh, torque converter and trans weren't too happy, so. Wow. We'll send those out to IPT and have that rebuilt. Cool. Oh. So, yeah. Man, well. mentioned all the stuff outside, too. All right. Well, yeah, everything you guys pulled outside, you know? Yeah, we got the GCR, Jesus. the motors out of that. We're rebuilding wow. the motor in that one. He had another shop there, and they kind of botched the engine. Oh, so. wow. Um, yeah, I got a brother-in-law who has a, a lightning just like this. Yeah. He's changing the color on it. I'm like, man, mm -hmm. you should have stocked. You should have stocked with that red. But yeah, this one had like, you know, the clear was all spotty on it. Yeah. And the other shop that we got it from, uh, they, they were going to repaint it, put all new lights and everything in it. And they brought it here for uh -huh. us to uh, build Motec and then get it wired and, and then dyno it. So we're hoping to have it on dyno today. And, oh, really? Yeah. You know, anywhere in the, well, north of a thousand is going to be um, more than enough. Wow. Wow. So, Jesus. But yeah, we nice. Ford Warner to go on there. Pro Mod 88. Jesus, man. That, yeah, that engine on this. Cool, it's got a cool truck, man. Yeah, I could only imagine when you crank that on, on how yeah. it's gonna sound. <laughs> yeah, launch control, track control, boost by gear. Oh, wow. Nice, man. Well, thank you, Josh. Hey, I appreciate no it, man. Right. And we'll uh, keep in touch. Yes, and sir. I'll go ahead and make sure a, a shout out for you guys. Yeah, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, do some badass things yeah, out here. And, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, look forward to working with you. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Check out this truck, guys. Ford F100. Check this one out, guys. 2004 Lightning. Wait till you see the engine, guys. Check this out. See that turbo right there? Ooh, hefty right there. Man. Hey guys, so we're done with the dyno session for today. So now we got a baseline. And I'm actually pretty impressed, guys. It um, stayed at 300. Uh, and then it went down the second time to uh, the lower 300s for horsepower. And also for the actual torque and you know four sets it should be somewhere around you know 300 for horsepower and 400 for torque and so it stays somewhere close I honestly thought that it was gonna be up in the two you know, high 200s 
but um impressed that it stayed at 300 horsepower guys so make sure you guys to comment like and subscribe hit that bell so you get notified every time i post a new video and thanks for tuning in again guys